Hello and welcome to Battleship Basics, a newcomer training video for World of Warships. In the next few minutes, I will cover what makes up a battleship, both advantages and disadvantages, where to sail as a battleship captain, and what to shoot at in a battleship. Battleships have several advantageous design features. For starters, they have many more hit points and thicker armor than any other ship class. Their main battery artillery is unmatched in range, damage, and penetration. They often come equipped with potent secondary batteries. Unfortunately, this firepower comes at a cost. Big guns are slow to reload and traverse towards their target. Their anti-aircraft capabilities are generally lacking compared to cruisers, and of course they are slow moving, slow turning, and easily spotted. As of March 2016, there are two nations with battleship lines in World of Warships. The United States Navy, or USN line, tends to have more anti-aircraft guns, thicker armor around critical compartments, and better damage control parties, making them more potent up close. The Imperial Japanese Navy, or IJN line, features better speed and guns that remain accurate further out, which suits mid-range engagements instead. Let's take a look at how battleships fare against other ship classes. Battleships are at their best against enemy cruisers, and can even deal devastating strikes to enemy battleships. They are also highly effective at destroying enemy carriers that come within range of their guns. On the other hand, battleships struggle against bomber squadrons launched by carriers, and are too slow to keep enemy destroyers spotted or dodge their torpedoes. With this in mind, where should you go as a battleship captain? Most maps have at least one region of open sea with very little cover for enemy cruisers and destroyers to ambush you with torpedoes. When the game starts, tell your team which direction you are going and ask for a few ships to help. If you notice that your whole team is going the other direction, it is wise to turn around, as a lonely battleship can be sunk by a destroyer that it never even spots. Although open water lacks cover for any type of ship, battleships rely on their armor more than the cover of islands to protect themselves from enemy fire. However, armor alone is not enough to stop incoming armor-piercing rounds from enemy battleships and cruisers at short range. The effectiveness of armor increases based on the angle at which incoming shells impact. Imagine trying to hammer a nail through a block of concrete. If you pound it straight in at a right angle, it is difficult, but not impossible. If you turn the nail 45 degrees and try to hammer it in diagonally, it becomes nearly impossible. Apply this principle to reduce the damage you take in battle by keeping your hull angled at least 45 degrees from incoming battleship fire. The opposite is also true. Your own shells will penetrate for much more damage if they hit enemy ships at a right angle. Because you reload slowly, it is important to choose your targets carefully and even consider waiting with loaded guns for a better shot before firing. Aim for targets of opportunity such as cruisers and battleships that are sailing with their broadside exposed. Armor-piercing battleship shells can penetrate the thickest armor around critical sections of enemy ships, known as citadels. Aim at the waterline underneath enemy smokestacks and main guns to deal massive damage. Destroyers do not have citadels that can be penetrated, so load high explosive shells against them instead. There is always more to learn, but these concepts should be enough to get you started. Good luck out there, Captain!